What is up everybody? It is Codebreaker146 here with a raw review. December 21st, 2015 was the date. And I gotta say, I can never recall a tougher raw to sit through than that one right there. Now, I don't watch the Christmas uh, Raws whenever they have them, or the Christmas Eve Raw specials or something like that. Um, I don't watch those. So I can't speak from those being bad. But this show was bad. I mean, it was just boring. This show, this Raw was the epitome of boring. And if WWE wants to look back and say the top 10 boringest Raw shows of 2015 i'll accept this award on my behalf of the hardest shows to sit through of 2015 this show was bad on so many levels i'm not gonna sit here well i might um for 15 minutes depending how long this goes of ranting about this because there's no need to waste my breath it was just a bad show and we kicked off the night with stephanie mcmahon and roman reigns coming out and Stephanie was pissed at Roman, and there was nothing accomplished from this segment, literally whatsoever. There was two matches announced, and that was it, and Roman walked away. There was no, oh yeah, well, your Royal Rumble opponent's going to be this, or whatever, you know, there was nothing acknowledged. Then, we went to Neville wins Breakout Star of the Year, who cares, uh, Kevin Owens interrupted, blah, 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 and then him and Ziggler got in a brawl, and then all of a sudden, fade in to Bray Wyatt and the Wyatt family there, and Kane comes out, because Kane is relevant, um, and then Team ECW, Tommy Dreamer and the Deli Boys run down, we have an eight-man tag, Wyatt family wins, yawn, Santino, Morella, and R-Truth, R-Truth wins LOL moment of the year, you see, you see how, like, little the categories were for LOL moment of the year? Well, that's because WWE is not funny. It's not fun anymore. What we've had last week was a good show. It was an all right. It was it was a good show to sit through. But this week was a complete 360. I mean, it wasn't just a 180. It was a 360. Um, then right after that, we faded in. I hated the way they did this show. Like, they would do awards, and then they would go right into the match. Then awards right into the match. Like, nobody would get interest except one person. Um, but whatever. Kevin Owens uh, versus Dolph Ziggler. KO wins. Who cares? Seth Rollins won Superstar of the Year. Good for Seth Rollins. Good to see the man. ADR, Alberto Rio versus Jack Swagger. Alberto Del Rio beats Jack Swagger. League of Nations attacks after the match. Um, John Cena wins Hero in All of Us Award. I mean, they just really wanted to give Cena a Slammy Award this year. They were like, yeah, I don't think Cena's going to win any of these Slammy Awards. We'll just, uh... We'll just give him that one. Uh, then Sting wins a uh, shocking return of 2015. Okay. Uh, New Day versus the Usos. Three on two handicap match. New Day loses to the Usos. Uh, yeah. Nikki Bella wins Diva of the Year. Wonderful. I don't care. Uh, Rusev versus Neville. Rusev won League of Nations attack after. This is awesome. Uh, Rock, and, Rock and Ronda Rousey. Not that much being awesome this year in 2015. Uh, Brie Bella versus Becky Lynch. Becky Lynch won with a disarmor. Who cares? Uh, match of the year. Brock versus Taker won that Slammy Award at Hell in a Cell. So then we get to the Steel Cage match. Dean versus Sheamus. Boring Steel Cage match. All Steel Cage matches suck nowadays. There's no good Steel Cage matches whatsoever. Dean Ambrose won here. I, I hated how. Sheamus looked like he was scared to drop down on the floor. And Ambrose looked like he was hesitant to drop on the floor. It's a steel cage match. You don't have to sit there like a hell in a cell and you're going to fall and you don't be scared. All you got to do is just drop down and you win the match. But, shocking, you can win a match by escaping a confinement. By escaping a cage. Man, I guess we're forgetting steel cage rules. rules steel cage rules all of a sudden, I'm assuming. And then Roman came down, even the odds, and Roman and Dean stood tall. Stephanie McMahon threw a hissy fit and was pissed off at Todd Phillips or something. No further advancement. This was a horrible Raw. Um, let me know what you thought about um, in the comment section below. Guys, I said 15 minutes. I was lying. This is going to be at least under 6, because. but before I do uh, leave, um, i got to tell you a little bit of announcement. Um, today is the Raw review, obviously. Um, I'm out this whole week and next week, which is going to be wonderful. 
uh, for Christmas and stuff like that. So Tuesday, tomorrow, um, I plan on doing a video. I don't know what it is going to be yet, so uh, make sure you just uh, stay tuned. Wednesday or Thursday is going to be the action figure collection video. I promise I'm going to upload it. I said before I was going to upload it, and I never did, but this time I'm going to upload it. Uh, Christmas Day, there will be something afterwards or something after I get all my gifts or whatever. So, yeah, and then I'll speak about that. And then, so that's the schedule. There's going to be a couple videos here and there. If you see me like uploading random videos, don't think it's just because I'm more uh, motivated this time. I'm trying to upload more videos every, every week. 877 subscribers. I'm happy about that. I saw Star Wars. It was amazing. Go see Star Wars. Don't watch this raw. Comment down below. Leave a like and deuces.